Does your narcissist distort reality? Do they seem to change and modify and, and confuse and create this crazy fog in your life of like what is actually real? You see, a lot of times we talk about the fog and we have videos about that of where, they, where the narcissist creates fear, obligation, and guilt. And it's normally to distract, to confuse, to manipulate the situation so you don't actually view it in truth. So you're not actually clear about what's happening. And typically, the easiest way to do that is to distort reality, is to confuse what you're actually seeing, what you're actually experiencing, what you're actually hoping and dreaming and thinking about to be able to modify that, to get you to react, to get you to respond, and to get you to the place where you're walking around totally confused. A narcissist loves to distort reality because if they can distort reality, they can avoid accountability. Distorting your reality avoids accountability to them and lets them continue doing what they want to do on a day-to-day -day basis. If you guys are new here, my name is Ben Taylor. I'm a self-aware narcissist on this platform to provide awareness, growth, healing, and change. I'm on multiple other platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. We're trying to get on Pinterest little by little, but like, I want to be able to tell you like, hey, if you don't follow on some of those other platforms, go out and follow. Just type in raw motivations. That's where we are everywhere. Okay, if you're listening now on Amazon Music or Apple Podcasts or Spotify, thank you guys so much. Like, rate, and give a review because we're trying to be able to let more people know and spread awareness about what narcissism actually is. Because a lot of times people think narcissism is just the person snapping selfies of themselves. That just is, has a little bit more ego than everybody else. It's a lot more destructive than that. It destroys lives. It breaks apart families. It ruins working relationships. So please, if you know someone that's dealing with something that might be narcissistic, or maybe they're in a relationship that it seems toxic, give us a share. And let people know, hey, something might be going on that you might not be. You might be the person today that can influence change in someone else's life. You might be the person today that can actually help save someone just by you sharing a video, a podcast, whatever, to help people understand what narcissism actually is. If you guys haven't had a chance, download the NARC app. Just type in NARC, Narcissistic Abuse Recovery Community. Community of like-minded people help to give you advice, help to give you encouragement, support as you continue moving through your healing journey. You can get courses on there. You can understand narcissism. Even if you don't understand what narcissism is, go on there. There's a free course. Just walks you through the nine attributes and traits of narcissistic personality disorder. If you're confused, go on there. Check it out. Because we want to be able to educate people and have them understand what it looks like in real life, of how it actually matters in real life and how it destroys. But love to be able to talk to you on there and get you into, into courses, into classes to get healed, to get worked on being happy, healthy, and whole moving forward. I do that on a day-to-day -day basis when I talk to people in one-on-ones across the globe. Try to answer questions and honestly just bring the clarity to the confusion and the crazy making that they've been experiencing. Because if you don't have clarity, if you don't have truth, You'll always be trapped. But the truth is what sets you free. Narcissists love to distort your reality. Oftentimes when we're talking about distorting reality, what's under the basis, what's under the premise of distorting your reality is distraction. Typically when this happens is you have a moment. Maybe you just caught them cheating. Maybe just held them accountable for a lie that they did. Maybe just called them out for something that they said to another person or how they started smearing you to another person or triangulating you or whatever it might be. And you're holding them accountable. A lot of times the moment that's happening is let me get out of it as fast as possible. Because my goal is to distract you from that accountability and that responsibility. If I can distract you, then that means I don't have to face it. That means I don't have to deal with the aspect of I have to be accountable of my actions. I have to be accountable for what I just said, what I just did. Let me get away from that. The reason why, as a narcissist, I want to get away from accountability and responsibility is because they activate guilt and it activates shame. Now, guilt and shame are two things that I have to be able to avoid. Guilt and shame actually comes down to the place of me actually admitting and saying, I hurt you and I was wrong. Those words wouldn't come out of my mouth for years. I didn't even think it was possible. You know, just saying I was wrong literally couldn't say it to my wife. Never would say it to my wife. It wasn't a possibility that would even happen. It would almost feel like impossible to get the words out. Maybe I was, I was less right, or maybe I was just teasing, or maybe I was just telling you or testing you or anything like that. But actually saying I was wrong was like a possibility. Because I want to be able to avoid shame. Be able to avoid guilt, be able to avoid shame, and be able to run away from it. And there's three ways that I want to talk to you today that I avoid that. 
There's three ways that a narcissist will distort your reality and distract you from the, the issue at hand from the accountability conversation, from the responsibility requirement of what's going on in the relation. There's three ways that a narcissist will actually distort your reality. The first thing that they'll do to distort your reality is actually change your past. They'll change what actually happened. Maybe you didn't remember it that way. Maybe it wasn't a reality. Maybe it wasn't something that you actually engaged with and understood and realized. I didn't say it that way. I never said that. That really never happened. You're just imagining things. You're just making something up. But that literally didn't happen. So I don't know what you're talking about. And you get to the place where you start to feel crazy of like, wait a second, like maybe that didn't happen. Maybe this happened. Maybe something completely different. And you start wondering and doubting yourself of like, I don't understand. Maybe it's me. That's the goal. The goal is to make you distract and distort your reality so that you're confused about what's actually going on. And you start to question events that you know happen. You start to question, be like, am I crazy? This did happen. I know this happened. This is where a lot of times you have survivors that start to record or journal, which is a very good thing to do to try to keep your sanity because the narcissist will make you feel crazy on purpose. And they'll destroy your reality, number one, with gaslighting. Let me change your past reality and make you believe something that wasn't even there or didn't even exist. A lot of times a narcissist will try to color your perspective. They'll try to change the thought process and the ideas that are happening in the moment. So it's almost like putting on different rose-colored glasses, putting on different shades of like, like, no, don't look at this abuse in this way. It's actually a good thing. It's actually like a nice thing. It's actually me spending more time with you. It's me, you know, giving you gifts. It's me saying, hey, let's hang out more. Let me, let me fulfill the thoughts that you have, that you want to have in the relationship. Like, what do I need to do? Like, what's actually happening? Oh, I need to do this? Okay, let me do that. Let me spend more time with you. Let me spend more time with the kids. Let me do X, Y, and Z. And you'll see sometimes like short little bursts of like, wait a second, like they do love me. And oftentimes they're just breadcrumbing you. They're leaving a trail of little things that you keep following and thinking maybe it's going to get more. Maybe it's going to get better. Maybe, but nothing ever happens. A lot of times a narcissist will try to change your present. They'll distort your present reality with the idea trying to color your perspective of looking at a situation that was abusive or yelling or anything and trying to make you feel or understand that it wasn't their fault or that they actually care. This develops cognitive dissonance. I wouldn't be yelling at you if you weren't so disrespectful. I wouldn't do this to you if it wasn't this way. And it produces cognitive dissonance on the idea of like, hey, I just yelled at you. Let me give you a hug. You know, hey, I just screamed at the kids. Now let me go buy them toys. Let me do anything that's going to change your perspective of me in that moment because I don't want to be held accountable. I don't want to be responsible. Don't want to deal with shame. Don't want to deal with guilt. So the number two thing that I do to distort your reality is love bomb. To make you feel better about the moment. Make you feel better about the abuse that just happened. The third thing the nurses do does a lot of times, especially towards the end of the relationship, is they commit to change. This is going to happen. Like, I'm going to change. Like, don't you see? I'm I'm gonna go to therapy now. I'm I'm gonna schedule it. I'm gonna schedule it sometime. Like it's gonna happen. Like I promise, like this is gonna happen. Like I'm gonna get better. Like we're gonna work on this, we're gonna go on this trip, we're gonna experience life together, like we're gonna be the family that we've always wanted to be. Like, I got this, like I'm gonna work on it. And they'll try to convince you time and time and time again of hey, I'm going to do this. And you start to realize that it's just empty promises. And you start to realize that the things that they're saying, they're not actually doing because you don't see the incremental change on a day-to-day -day basis. All you see, the number three way that they distort your reality is future faking. Narcissists will try to change your past reality. They'll try to color your perspective and they'll try to commit the change, which ultimately the three things is gaslighting, love bombing, and future faking. But the goal, the primary goal of distorting your reality is to distract you from what's at hand to distract you from the fact that I'm cheating, to distract you from the fact that I'm lying, to distract you from the fact that I'm abusing you mentally, emotionally, or even physically. That's the goal. And it puts you in a fog. It puts you in a place that you're like, I don't know how to get out. I don't understand what's going on. That's the whole reason. And if you have, and what you have to understand is the reason why you're feeling so confused is because your reality is getting distorted. You need to ground yourself in reality so that you can get back to the place of acknowledging and seeing the truth 
of the situation because the truth is the only thing that will set you free. If you don't acknowledge the truth, you will always be caught in the fog. A narcissist wants to distort reality. A narcissist wants to distort reality, take accountability and responsibility and sweep under the rug and continue on with life. Because their goal is, if I can distract you from this moment and I can continue moving forward, the past is in the past. You don't really know what you're talking about. Like, I'm still here. I'm still engaged. I'm still fixing myself. If I can do all those things and distract you from this moment, then we don't have to talk about accountability. We don't have to talk about responsibility. We definitely don't have to talk about change. We don't have to talk about honesty or vulnerability. And I can revert to the same exact thing that I've always done, which fulfills my desires, makes you feel stupid, makes you feel crazy. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because then I don't feel guilt and I don't feel shame. I mean, if I can run away from that, if a narcissist can run away from that each and every day, if they're faced with that decision, it's a lot easier to run away than it is to be honest and vulnerable about the reality that they're distorting for you. <laughs>